Hey everyone, Christian here, and I want to do a vlog on why you cannot eat dates, or at least you, they're not going to taste any good, but why you can't really eat dates off of date palms, including Stectolifera in Florida. And really the reason comes down to the fact that I'm sitting here, it's about 9 o'clock, probably 85 de degrees Fahrenheit, and it's extremely humid, uh, like already sweating, just kind of standing here in the sun. And the humidity causes a fermentation process. You can see here that there's tons of seed up in the crown there, and all the other crowns here. The, this whole area of US 41 bypass, I'm sorry, business, is lined with dates for a couple miles, and they're beautiful. But and they probably even can pollinate themselves to the point where there's a lot of pure seed. But the um, the seed itself will be good, but the fruit will be will taste absolutely terrible. So. We, um, Basically, because of this, this humidity that we have in the summer, because it's so thick and just, you know, causes you to sweat as early as like 8, 8, 8.30 in the morning, um, the, the fruit starts to ferment before it drops from the plant. And by the time it gets to the ground, it becomes this mushiness. I don't know if you guys can see this, but just kind of this brown, nasty. It kind of smells like rotting fruit, obviously, because it is fruit that's rotting. But... It, it basically becomes it's not it's inedible and it becomes it starts to rot before it even drops from the plant so harvesting it is basically basically impossible sorry about the road noise here I'm right here next to 41 so um, but you can see there's you know there's these are mature fruit you know they're nice and yellow they're, they're squishy and and the seed inside will be good but the fruit will not be good for eating so just know that if you're walking around um, that if you see some dates in the ground, I wouldn't go collecting them. Like in um, you know in California, in the Middle East, and their Mediterranean areas, you're going to find that the humidity level is a lot lower, and as a result, you're going to be you know you're, the sugar is going to basically crystallize, harden, and cause you know you, the dates you buy at the store have that tough kind of hard, harder feel that doesn't have any real mushiness about it. Where the dates here, you can see they're a little more just yellow, and they're more fermented they have a little bit of a rot to them or you're not going to see any of that rot on um the dates that you would actually eat so i mean they're actually you know they're, they're nice size they're actually probably they're definitely the largest uh fruit in the genus and sometimes i forget just how large they are i remember walking down lincoln avenue in miami beach and this stuff was getting them they have they have a bunch of uh, very tall dates planted uh down there and you're walking you can hear like the stickiness and the mushiness of the of the fruit because they're dropping everywhere it's so bad because of the humidity this is in the middle of the summer so we're here in august pretty much the hottest uh, month of the year and this is when they mature so i don't know if, if they were to mature in the winter time if it would be any better but um we can walk down here a little bit just do, check out one of the other uh palms here and see they're all basically in heavy fruiting mode but what it does is it causes quite a, a nasty cleanup situation. I'm sure the, the ants and rats love it here because of this fermented situation. Oh, we got a nice little airplane bottle of, I'm just going to guess that's vodka, but you can see how they're all rotted, or the majority of them are rotted. And the ones that are yellow are kind of on their way to rotting. But, um, you know, in California, they're going to have a much harder, tougher, um, you know, texture to them, the ones, the one that is edible, unlike this. Now, I imagine you could eat these, but I would never grow a date in Florida for its fruit because it isn't going to be any good. But a lot of people ask me through email or just you know messaging me, um, you know, can I eat the dates off the ground? And the, the, the answer is yes, you can. You can eat any date uh, palm seed. You can eat Canary Island date seed. And there's, I guess the difference is what your threshold is for flavor. If you don't mind it tasting terrible and you're starving, then yes, you can eat them. But as far as it being a delicacy, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't place these, uh, these fruit on your uh, in a bowl on your table for a guest to have in the evening, because they're going to be very upset with you. So um, let me see if I can just walk over here to this one. You can see they're all kind of dropping their fruit, and it kind of becomes a little bit of a cleanup mess. I mean, that's just the way it is with a lot of palms. But I'm gonna try and find one that just kind of is kind of cracked open. You can maybe see a little. So you can see that these are already starting to get eaten. And the, uh, the, the, the seed is inside there. The ants are absolutely loving this. 
it does kind of attract a certain breed of insect that is unwanted, and that's the fire ant. And uh, yeah, here we go. Here's a. Let's see that there. Sorry about the sun. Nice long, large seed there. Again, one of the you know the big, biggest seeded uh, phoenix species for sure, and uh, biggest fruit as well. But uh, but yeah, these rotted seeds are kind of just everywhere, and they are. Uh, they become a little bit of a nuisance. You know, where other palms, you know, will drop a bunch of seed, like palmetto, and you barely notice, you might hear them cracking on the ground. This is the kind of stuff that'll stick to your shoes, and it's kind of gooey, like a, almost like a syrupy. That's a nice plumeria. Wow. Sorry about the little uh, tangent there. but Yeah, so if we go back, you know, we can see they're just kind of on the ground. So if you're walking, this is a main thoroughfare, and you're not really paying attention, you walk right into the seed there. And uh, you just, you know, get it stuck to your sandal. And you go into your car and mush it all in. It's kind of like a, like a rotted maple syrup, I guess, if you, if you wanted to call it that. But, um, but here, but, you know, nevertheless, these palms are absolutely beautiful, in my opinion. You can see the, the old trunks. These have been here since about 2003. And each one of these costs about $4,500, including installation. So you can imagine they spend, there's this, a hundred of them you're talking about you know four like half a million dollars essentially um there's probably more than that so it's probably closer to three quarters of a million dollars that they put just for these palms in um and i really think that they are you know great looking it's just that their fruit's a little bit of a nuisance and sometimes you you would think that for example coconuts get trimmed quite heavily uh on any public property in florida but dates don't it really comes down to even though this is a little bit of a nuisance it's more of a nuisance for the city to deal with a someone getting their head hit by a coconut for example in miami they've banned coconuts from being planted now because of their uh the, of all the lawsuits they're getting from the nuts falling from the trees hitting people although i don't i'm not really sure how that's a a, a sit, the city's fault but anyway they're, they're not doing it with dates because the dates aren't going to really hurt you i mean it's gonna hit your head like a i don't know like a, little, like a tennis ball would hit your head from that height, so I would imagine they have about the same weight. So, uh, yeah, so there we go. A lot of people ask me about the, you know, Phoenix seed and the Phoenix fruit. Yes, you can eat it. Is it going to taste good? Not in Florida, it's not. And it's going to get mushy on your shoe, you know, on your sandals or shoes. So, you know, you can you can take this, the fruit, you know, pick them up, go ahead and grow them back at the house. They're going to be good to, for growing, but they're not going to be good for eating. And uh, that's why you don't see any. Uh, any dates in the market uh, from Florida you don't see any date palm farms in Florida because the fruit is no good so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel want to see more palm vlogs go ahead and subscribe hit that uh, bell notification bell icon and you'll get notifications for when I go live and uh, if you have any questions about Phoenix and their fruit um, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can and thanks for watching